Praise God, saints. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we need you right now to just open up our hearts, our minds, and our ears so that we can hear the message on today. Give us insight as we do this study on religion. Amen. Amen. Our theme or title for today is Aren't All Religions Basically the Same? And you know there's a controversy whether or not Christianity is a religion or not. I'm going to leave that up to you at this time and we will explore it further later on. There is a very old and famous fable of either Buddhism or Jan origin that has been used through the centuries to illustrate what is thought to be a fundamental truth about the religions of mankind. Several blind men were led into a Raja king's courtyard where they encountered an elephant. One felt a tusk and concluded that an elephant is like a spear. Another touched a leg and thought that the elephant is like a tree. Yet another bumped into the side of the bee and thought that it is like a wall, and so on. The Raja heard the activities, came out on his balcony, and told the blind men that they were each encountering encountering only one small part of the magnificent whole. The lesson by analogy, of course, is that the different religious traditions of the world are all stumbling upon only one particular aspect of ultimate reality and are blind to the total picture. But all the religions or religious hands are touching the same essential truth. It is easy to see the appeal of this unifying approach to the broad spectrum of religious belief. After all, exclusive claims to religious truth are seen by many to be the root of so much violence and suffering in the world as believers in one traditional fight those of other traditions. Sometimes, for centuries, if at their core all religions are the same, or each is heading toward the same end, then there is no real reason for conflict or quarrel. Ionically, this fable has built into it an element that is not highlighted in the traditional interpretation but may be the most important issue in the story. How do the blind men discover the truth about their encounter with the elephant? It is revealed to them from above. The Raja steps out of his balcony and from his transcending perspective and with his intact sense of sight communicates to those below the full picture of their experience, the more profound real-world question that emerges from the fable is where is our Raja, who can see all and can reveal to us the truth that is not accessible from our limited perspective. Unless there is some word from above to tell us that all religions are basically the same, there is no good reason to conclude they are, because the evidence is stacked heavily against it. Although one can identify common beliefs and practices, some of the differences among the traditions are stark and irre irreconcilable. Compare, for instance, Mormonism, Buddhism, and Christianity on the critical question of what is ultimately read, what is ultimately real. Mormon scripture teaches 
that ultimate reality is material or physical, and that even God and spirits are material objects who constitute matter has existed for all eternity. Mahayana Buddhists believe that ultimate reality is emptiness, sanyata, or beinglessness. No God, no matter, no spirit, no self. Christians, by contrast, see ultimate reality in God, who is an internal, personal, triumph being who created all there is, both physical and non-physical, from nothing. By any measure, these are dramatic differences. The conflicting ideas are multiplied once other issues are addressed. What is a human being? What do we, why do we exist? What is good? Why is there pain and suffering? Where is history going? How do I reach salvation or enlightenment? Given the deep divergence on such timeless questions, it is completely legitimate to wonder if the essential unity of all religion is really just a noble wish or a pious hope. Indeed, without a word from the Raja to tell us that the contradictions among the great faith can be overcome, the notion that all religions are the same seem utterly untenable. Another irony about the fable presented here is that there is excellent reason to believe that there really is a Raja who has spoken to mankind and has given us the transcendent perspective we need to know the truth. Jesus Christ is a radical figure in the history of the great religious tradition in that he is the only leader who claims to be the one eternal God in human flesh. He knows the beginning from the end and knows the deepest religious journey of all people. He said definitively that there is only one God and only one source of salvation, Jesus Christ himself moreover. And this is very important. Jesus did not leave us with blind faith as the only means to know that his claim are true. Rather, he established the truth of his claim objectively through his glorious resurrection from the dead, the central miracle of human history. The king had indeed spoken from on high. All religions are not the same, and although we are all blind in sin, we can still hear the Savior's words. He who has ears, let him hear the voice of the king. Father God, we thank you for the message on today. We thank you for opening up your people's ears and allowing them to hear. And we thank you for the peace of Jerusalem. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, and amen.